Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the annual American Pistachio Growers Conference here in Palm Desert. Uh, one of the featured speakers today was Bob Beatty, Farm Advisor Emeritus for the UC Cooperative Extension. He gave an outstanding presentation on canopy management for pistachio trees. And here's Bob to, to give some of those key points. Okay, thank you. The most important part about canopy management is having an understanding of what your objective is. So, <clears throat> and start early. If you have trees that are getting older and starting to umbrella out, as we say, then uh, one key element of canopy management is the uh, what I call pruning the trees back and up. And that means performing uh, thinning and heading cuts in order to compress the canopy so that it's more upright and facilitating and thus facilitating harvest. Uh, <clears throat> another key aspect is to be realistic about uh, what, how much money you're spending on pruning. If you're hand pruning, a good hand pruning job is going to cost you somewhere around $350 to $400 an acre and over the life of the orchard it will certainly pay. However, if you are not of that persuasion, where you would rather minimize your pruning costs by performing <coughs> mechanical side hedging, the data that we've generated over 35-some um, years suggests that single side hedging every other row is a good beginning point for a mechanical hedging program. Whether or not you initiate that prior to the on or the off year now appears to be rootstock dependent. The research that I just completed at the Kearney Ag Center after six years suggests that both Atlantica rooted trees and uh, Pistachia and Tegarima rooted trees tend to have less alternate bearing if they are pruned severely prior to the off year. However, determining how severely to prune dictates what the depression in yield is that you're going to suffer from the off year pruning. So be mindful of the bud number that you have and expect to have 25 to 30 percent reduction in yield should you have such severe alternate bearing that you believe it is in your economic best interest to suffer yield loss one year prior to the off year, but to recover that yield over a period of time after that pruning. Um, another key uh, element is to realize that although mechanical topping can be used as a hand pruning aid, especially in young trees where the trees can be tipped mechanically in such a manner that a high percentage of the <clears throat> of the whips are cut at approximately the height that you desire, that if you employ mechanical topping repeatedly for <clears throat> um, management of tree height, the data that I have now collected over my career suggests that topping severely is the most depressing in yield. And there is not, from my observations and data, there is not a reconfiguration of a sufficient number of spurs lower in the canopy to compensate for the bud number that you have removed from the severe topping. This has to do with the strong, apically dominant growth characteristic of pistachio. So be mindful of <clears throat> what you're doing. I recommend that when you embark on these rather um, seemingly drastic canopy management uh, concepts, that you initiate them well ahead of when you think you might want to do the entire orchard. On a, on a selected block of the trees, maybe only 10 or 20 trees or a row or something, so that you can visually see what is going to happen so that <clears throat> when you perform the practice over the entire orchard, you're not severely disappointed. Thank you, Bob. 
For more information, read Bob's monthly column, famously known as the Pistachio Task List, in Pacific Nut Producer magazine. If you don't receive it, be sure to subscribe today at PacificNutProducer.com. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com. Happy farming.